Hi everybody, this is Heath with the Chicago Stockyard Saddle Tree. And today we're, I'm gonna do a short video on how we're going to dress our skirts, all right? So first, um, we've already blocked them. So this is, you know, this is after drying and everything and, uh, and they've been blocked, we've already put a pattern on it and blocked is just setting that recess onto the tree bars, right? Um, so now we want to uh, put the support pieces in and um, so they're going to be overcuts as well, but they're going to be to the shape of the bars that you've blocked in. So it should come in here, right? And you're giving yourself either a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch gap on the edge right on the on the front side and you want enough to go the tab over and then it's going to feather off somewhere around there right and then where our junction point is so we have another piece right and it's going to come up and it doesn't have to go all the way in because we want as less material here underneath because that pocket um, of this material should be pushed into the bottom of the cannel and there should be a recess there in your trees. If not, then you have to make sure that this is less or that this point, this turn back, comes back further where there is um, a place to recess but still a place to screw underneath your cannel. Anyway, so um, this is gonna get feathered edged and this overlap is gonna have a feather edge to it as well, all right? Um, you wanna mark where those, that overlap's gonna be, and you wanna do it on the side <laughs> that, we're, we're putting the grain side up. Now, at this point, it's not too, um, uh, it's not too important to have either the grain side up or the grain side down, as far as, you know, connection to the skirts. Um, you know, the, the strength is still going to be there and, you know, regardless of what you, what you do with it. All right. Um, so we got an inch, inch and an eighth, just about, and we're feather skiving um, to that feather edge thickness. And that's going to recess in the curvature here um, pretty nicely. It's going to pocket in. Okay. We're going to do the same thing. With this side, we haven't made that yet, but we just started cutting that and skiving it down. Um, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that on both sides. And then we're going to put the piece back up on the bar and we're going to find where our um, skirt hobbles are going to go. And we, I usually do about three or four fingers down. So our skirt hob, first skirt hobble is gonna go into here, okay? and then three or four fingers down between that mark. Um, so your skirt hobble should be either up here and here, and your rear rigging housing should fall in between that last skirt hobble and your rigging, regardless of whether it's gonna be a cable or, um, or a flat plate. Um, in the end skirt, you don't have to worry about it too much, but with an end skirt, either you're gonna have a drop plate or you're gonna have that uh, literally in skirt here in skirt you know the could it could be both here and here but your rear rigging housing you want um i mean as far as that is concerned you want your uh, your skirt hobbles back up here and then uh, one that's between the apex and our shoulder junction where the curve comes back um if you're using the cable rigging you can just use that midpoint between, all right? And we'll go here. If you have a rigging that's coming up, it still would be a, pro a proper position for it or somewhere that's in between um, where that rigging comes down, where the, where the front rigging plate is, you know, if it's gonna be swinging back or if it's gonna be straight down. All right, um, but that's it. And we'll make our stitch mark and we'll put our hobbles in and I will see you guys on the inside of that video. All right. This is Heath House with the Chicago Stockyard Saddle Tree saying, yes, you can.